Hi everybody, John from Wire here. In this video what we're going to talk about is uploading PDFs and other types of documents to Shopify and different ways to display those PDFs on your Shopify store. So what you want to do to get started is go to your Shopify admin dashboard and go down to the settings option and you're going to click on files. Once you're in the file section you're going to have basically a list of all of the uploads that are on your Shopify store. So in order to add a PDF, we're going to click on Upload Files and then select the PDFs that we want to upload. So in this example, I want to select all three. I selected all three by selecting the first one, holding down the Shift button if you're on Mac, and clicking on Example Copy 2. So once I've chosen all three of those files, I'm going to wait for them to upload. And once they've uploaded, you can see that they're all right here. So one, two, and three. So now that they're uploaded, you could go ahead and just send this URL to your customer, but I want to actually put my PDF inside my page. So I'm going to copy the URL of the PDF that I want on the page. I'm going to go back into the online store, and then I'm going to click on Pages. So I have this page already made, but you can go ahead and add a page if you want to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link the PDF to this page. And by doing so, I'm going to say click here for PDF. So you want to highlight the text that will link to your PDF and click on the insert link button. Paste that previous URL that we copied earlier and you can go ahead and do whatever settings you want here if you want it to be in a new window or the same window insert link and let's go ahead and see what this looks like okay I have to save it first okay now let's go ahead and see what this looks like okay so click here for PDF once I click on that link I'm able to go ahead and open up the PDF that I just uploaded to, uploaded to my Shopify store so let's say that you don't want a link to the PDF. You just want to put the PDF right on the page itself and load it automatically when someone loads the page. So what you would do in that situation is you would click on the Insert Image button. And instead of clicking on Uploaded Images, you would click on URL. And then paste the same URL that you copied earlier into that field. And there is your PDF as it loads on the screen. So let's go ahead and save that page and then view the page. And as you can see, our PDF is already loaded and viewable on the screen. So this is pretty cool, but what happens if you have multiple PDFs or multiple documents that you want to put on a page and not have them all load and you don't really want hyperlinks, you just want to make it look nice when it loads on a page with multiple files. What I do is that I use Box to share folders and I'm going to walk you through what I do and what it'll look like in the end. But this is the easiest way that I've found to go and share multiple PDFs and multiple documents with your customers on your store without having them go and download all the PDFs individually or having to go to like a third party download site to do it. So what you want to do if you don't already have a box account is click on the sign up button and it's a free account that will give you about 250 megabyte upload limit, I think about 10 gigabytes to start with. But once you go ahead and create your box account, I'm going to switch over to my box and I'll show you what I do in order to embed those files on the web page. Okay, so we switched over to my box account and what you want to do is click on new and new folder. You don't want to go ahead and share it now, you want to keep it private. And let's just name it test folder. So I've created my test folder and click on your test folder in order to go into the file upload area. And you can drag and drop the files from your desktop or use the file browser. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop. So once you have all your documents uploaded to your box folder, you want to go ahead and click on this button here with the three little dots and then hover over sharing and then click on embed widget. And what this will do is it's going to display a widget on your website with all three of these documents um, included in the widget. And it's going to look a little bit something like this. So this is a preview of what the widget's going to look like on your website. If you want to embed this widget on your website and see what it looks like, you can copy this code here. This code is also on the previous page. Go back to the page that you want to place the widget on. 
and make sure that you switch to show HTML mode so you're not pasting it on the what you see is what you get editor. So click on save and then click on view and this is what the widget looks like when it's embed on your Shopify store. So this makes it really easy for your customers to view the PDF or if they want to download the PDF and if you have multiple PDFs it makes it really easy for them to figure out which one they actually want to look at. So it saves your customers a lot of time and it looks really good instead of just having three PDFs on one page. Just want to clarify something really quickly. The only thing that's going to be shared is the folder itself and its contents. If you have 10 other folders inside your box account, they are not going to be visible to your customers if you just share the test folder. With that said, if you decide later on that you want to put more documents inside this test folder, keep in mind that those documents are going to be automatically available to be viewed right down here when they're uploaded. So make sure that everything in this test folder is something that you want to be publicly viewable on your website where it's embedded. Otherwise, just create another folder in Box. I hope that helped you out, and if you have any other questions, you can go ahead and leave a comment in the section below. With that said, I hope you have a really great day, and thanks for watching.